friends. I'm Morris Strong. And as you might expect, my job with Canada's external aid office and my YMCA activities entail a great deal of travel. And the more you travel these days, the more you find yourself becoming a citizen of the world. You realize more and more that the world is shrinking, with only a few hours of jet travel separating the most far distant people. You realize, too, how many people there are and will be when the world's population doubles in the next quarter century. You are conscious of the enormous gulf in living standards that separates the few at the top from the great mass of mankind at the bottom. And you see the effects of these factors in the revolutionary changes sweeping the world in political, social, and economic life. This is why I am interested in the YMCA, an interest that first developed when I saw the Y at work in Africa and Asia. The Y operates in 83 countries, among people of all races, creeds, and cultures. Its motto is that they all may be one. At its best, the Y stands for change, and its day-by-day -day programs equip people to bring about changes in their lives, and at the same time to work together for the common good. That is why, too, I am vitally interested in the WISE Buildings for Brotherhood program, many of the results of which we are now about to see. Buildings for Brotherhood, or B for B as we sometimes call it, was a partnership operation between the YMCA's of North America and 35 of these countries in the WISE regular World Service program. B for B was an attempt to keep pace with our fast-changing age by putting more YMCA facilities into action in key areas of Asia, Africa, Europe, the Middle East, and Latin America. One of these key areas is Korea. You can't be in Korea long without realizing the pressures organizations like the Y face just to keep up with the population explosion. And so one result of Buildings for Brotherhood is this new YMCA building in Seoul. It replaces an old building that looked like this after complete destruction in the Korean War. War-torn classrooms of tents and shacks have been transformed in the new building into modern, bright educational facilities. Most of the funds for this new building came from the Koreans themselves, with North American YMCAs contributing about one-fourth. The aim of Buildings for Brotherhood was to help people to help themselves. Adult education is a big feature of this YMCA's program, with English classes among the most popular. There are high Y clubs for the boys, and judo classes, with over 2,000 people of all ages enrolled in groups like this. And the daily sessions held in the wise new chapel set a high spiritual tone that is well reflected in the friendliness characteristic of the whole association's work. Down in the port city of Pusan, another building built for Brotherhood stands today. A welcome replacement for the former Quonset Hut Y, which served the city for years. The new building serves as a meeting place for many community groups, such as this organization of social workers. Like most YMCAs, the Pusan Y is an educational institution, providing hundreds their only chance to go to school and training many for trades.
Meanwhile, back in the Seoul YMCA, a kindergarten class is in session. A symbol, perhaps better than any other, of the kinship uniting all peoples and the brotherhood building purpose for which all YMCA's stand around the world. a glimpse of Tokyo's crowded streets. And Waseda University, down the street from which another YMCA building for brotherhood has been erected, a dormitory building for students. This new building replaces the homemade cabin built by students themselves in the wake of World War II. The new building provides clean, comfortable quarters for 30 young men attending the university. Their daily demonstration of democratic cooperative living and Christian motivation are of no little influence on campus life in general. Through YMCA dormitories like this in the past have come many of Japan's top democratic leaders, including eight university presidents, 60 professors, several ambassadors, three cabinet ministers, and two Supreme Court justices. Del Waddell, Fraternal Secretary from North America, helps the students plan work projects of voluntary service for their country. Thailand and the famous floating market area in the heart of Bangkok, the nation's teeming capital. Here a common sight is young boys swimming in the klongs, the canals and rivers which serve the city in many ways including disposal outlets for sewage and garbage. For boys like these, the new Buildings for Brotherhood camp on the Gulf of Siam is a welcome change. Here, Murray Faulkner is on the job, training leaders for the first such camp Thailand has ever had. In former days, the camp's buildings looked like this. Today, with modern hygienic cabins and a beach area that ranks amongst the finest in the world, Bangkok's b for b camp is providing health building, mind building, brotherhood building experiences for several hundred boys each year. On the other side of the world, in Nazareth, another new YMCA building has opened its doors. In this city of Christ's childhood, the YMCA is a magnet to boys of the streets like these. They turn up by the hundreds to share in Fraternal Secretary Les Uptograph's famous Popeye salute. They turn up too for fun and recreation. for first experiences with arts and crafts. There are classes here in many subjects as in this one in English, run by Don Christensen, student world service worker from Iowa. 
They provide priceless opportunities for teaching skills and building brotherhood at the same time. A flower show is unique anywhere in the Middle East, but the Y in Nazareth Square in Israel is one of the great symbols of brotherhood in the whole Y spectrum. The new A.C. Hart Chapel on the Sea of Galilee near Capernaum. To this Christian conference center come pilgrims and conferees from all over the world. Next door to Israel, in Jerusalem, Jordan, stands this new building one of the most inspiring why stories of all time. Besides being a why, the building is a first-class hotel with guests coming from every continent and facilities ranking among the best in Jordan. 20 years ago, General Secretary Labib Nasser started the Jordan YMCA here in the desert near Jericho among his fellow refugees from the Palestine War. Today, the Desert Y is a technical training school where young men from the refugee camps learn trades that get them good jobs in many cities of the Middle East. The results of their craftsmanship can be seen today in the Jerusalem Jordan Y for all of the furniture and furnishings of this surpassingly beautiful building were made by refugee boys in the desert school. Furniture, the iron grill work, lighting fixtures, everything a product of skilled and dedicated workmanship by refugees. Ethiopia, where the Y received from Emperor Haile Selassie here his nation's top award for humanitarian activities. In Addis Ababa, in the Y's new building wing, a product of B4B B, are housed some of the activities that call forth this honor. Classes for adults, as well as for children too poor to go to public school. Training in crafts and help in getting jobs. Restaurant facilities and lounges. The new building is home for college students and young working men with no families. And recreational activities for thousands of the city's children who have no other place to go for organized play. city of Athens and the wise new building located on one of the main streets of the city. The Y here has classes in a wide variety of subjects and there is standing room only in many. The new dormitory rooms too have waiting lists for occupancy and the whole building is alive with people engaged in hobbies, club meetings, physical education activities, and arts and crafts. The boys department is a top attraction for youth from all over the city.
Portugal. And in the heart of Lisbon, the nation's capital, a new YMCA triangle beckons on the city's skyline. Essentially a gymnasium, the new building makes possible too many kinds of activities. A training course for volunteer leaders. Informal classes for youth and adults, preferably together. Flower making for an upcoming fiesta. and a gym program that helps boys in more ways than one to lead balanced lives. The gym program is guaranteed, too, to build health and poise for Portugal's Y members of all ages, sizes, and shapes. Across the Atlantic in Mexico, in hot and sunny Chihuahua, this building has become headquarters for the city's youth. There's a new gymnasium to which they come in droves from the nearby burials. And there's a new swimming pool, the only one they have access to in the whole city. And no pool anywhere in the world, I think, has greater use or a happier clientele. Three hundred miles away in Torreon, another Y building is now in action, building brotherhood in many ways. Here too, the new pool is the chief attraction. The same thing is true in Mexico City, where the Y has been in business for the last 60 years. Buildings for Brotherhood help provide this new swimming pool, and thousands have already learned to swim in it. Down in South America, in Rio de Janeiro, the YMCA today looks like this. This Y serves as a full-fledged school with several thousand students receiving their education there every year. Further to the north in Brazil, in Belo Horizonte, the new YMCA is a family affair with over 7,000 families on the membership rolls. Bellows' new Y building, filled from early morning to late at night with dozens of groups, make this YMCA the community center of the city. Spearheading this fastest growing Y in South America is General Secretary Galeotti now engaged in building a new branch for the slum-dwelling youngsters of a nearby favela. Next door in Paraguay, the YMCA of Asuncion, thanks to Buildings for Brotherhood, has this new building, which is the long-awaited transformation of an old house that served inadequately as the Y for many years. Imaginative programming here attracts members and friends of all ages. A unique feature being the cultural pursuit of traditional Paraguayan music and dance. Cuando va juntando el alba, remembranzas del país. 
In neighboring Chile, a similar group of folklore students make the Santiago Y a pleasant place to visit. La vida en Arauco, una muchacha, ay, sí, sí. La vida en Arauco, una muchacha, ay, sí, sí. Modern new building here is a giant step forward for the Y in Chile over its former quarters of several years ago. In Lima, Peru, another building built for brotherhood. Its spacious outdoor playing fields and indoor meeting facilities ensure this Y an invaluable place in the growing life of the city. Uruguay. And with Montevideo's modern skyline, the new YMCA building fits in well with the landscape. Waiting lines for membership in this busy Y reach into the thousands in all departments. And it is here that the Instituto Tecnico is located, the WISE training college for YMCA secretaries who come from all over South America. The building houses not only the college itself, but living quarters for the students who spend from one to four years in training. In Asia, the training center for Y secretaries is Hong Kong, city of refugees, where the YMCA branches are located on rooftops. The YMCA Training Institute here trains leaders of the Y from 15 Asian countries, with fraternal secretary Bill Glenn assisting with their fieldwork among the refugee children. The Institute is the lifeblood of leadership development for the whole YMCA movement in Asia. Now housed in the old Y building on the corner, the Institute, by the time this film is shown, will have moved to the sixth floor of this new 18-story building, now nearing completion. This new building for Brotherhood will serve, too, as headquarters for a Hong Kong-wide movement of over 12,000 members operating in 24 areas throughout the city. Well, we've seen just a few of the wise new buildings for Brotherhood. To see them all would take a long time, for b for b produced 112 building projects in 35 countries. Altogether, some $18 million was raised for these projects. Of this, the United States and Canada contributed about five and one half million dollars, and the cooperating countries overseas, 12 and one half million. Our part in North America was mainly of a pump priming nature, with the receiving countries more than matching our own gifts. B for B certainly helped people to help themselves. The results of B for B will have an impact on the world for generations. It's hard to travel anywhere these days and not see one of these new buildings in operation. In Rome, Sao Paulo, Brazil, Alexandria, Egypt, Rosario, Argentina, Lyon, France, Cairo, and in dozens of places in India, The buildings themselves, of course, are not of primary importance. Like this new gymnasium in Liberia, it's what happens inside them that matters. The opportunities they provide for young people to develop the best that is in them. The growth in body, mind, and spirit made possible by facilities that in many cities are only to be found at the Y. Gymnasiums, dormitory rooms, libraries, club rooms, lounges, 
and space for special events that meet countless needs and that many community groups have no place else to stage. Has Buildings for Brotherhood been a success? In terms of concrete, bricks and mortar, yes, an overwhelming success. But the key to ultimate success or failure in achieving the wise dream of brotherhood depends on leadership. And the development of leadership is now the wise number one goal. Following Buildings for Brotherhood, we need more leaders for brotherhood. And that is the challenge to this generation of Y members and friends around the world. that all may be one. That is the wise dream of brotherhood. The wise world is one world. And in that one world, there is but one family, the family of man. To help that family grow and prosper, to help all its members improve as individuals while learning to live and work together. This is the purpose of these new YMCAs that b for b has placed in action around the world. May these buildings that were built for brotherhood continue to serve as centers for the development of the kind of leadership for which our increasingly complex world is crying out.